So today's the day. We need to check the gas truck to see if it's burning oil. You heard that correctly. I have not checked the oil or changed it in my gas truck. And I don't even know how many miles are on it. Let's go check. I think I left the key in the truck. So we'll check it. Aha. It should just pop up actually now that I think about it. Oh, it's not too bad. I only have 3,572 miles. Now, does anyone know what the interval is for the oil change? I found the owner's manual here, and right here it says service and maintenance. So let's see what it says. I'm willing to bet you, yep, there it is. They're showing the oil change around 7,500 miles. That's typically what I've seen on gas engines. So here's something you need to understand. I would not go 7,500 miles on oil change for a gas truck. Diesels are a little bit different, and I'm willing to bet you, when you see a lot of the issues with this engine online, oil consumption seems to be the problem. A lot of people did kind of switch over to the gas engine because the 6.6 LAT had a little bit more horsepower and torque compared to the 6.0 that it replaced. And when you consider the fact that this engine only has like eight quarts of oil. I think it's like eight quarts of oil compared to like 12 or 13, which the Duramax uses. You don't want to go 10,000 miles of oil change. I know some people say, oh, you don't have to worry about it, but I'm willing to bet you this is why this engine seems to have high oil consumption. And let's go ahead and check my truck really quickly and then we'll kind of go over a few more things. Man, I forget how tall these trucks are. Wow. So. Here is the LAT. Now, I live now in dusty Utah. So with that being said, I would figure an oil change every, I would say 3,500 miles is what I would do if you live in dusty climates like this. Like I don't go down a lot of dirt roads, but there's a lot of dust under the hood. I might need to even check my air filter right there at some point. Now, I did think this was my oil fill, but oil fill is actually back here right there 5w30 and i think the dipstick for the engines on that side so let's go ahead and switch over it looks like that is the dipstick for the engine i think it is i gotta go look online because it doesn't say but here i'll just pull it out real quick um is that for engine Yes, that is engine, okay. All right, so yeah, that is engine oil. Let me go ahead and get a rag and then we can kind of check this level out to see where we are. Again, this engine has about 3,500 miles on it. I have not done the oil change yet. So today's Friday. I'm gonna probably do this on this coming Monday, get the oil change because it's a free one at the dealership. And then we'll probably check it at some point once we get some miles on it. Now, I have told with the truck, not much, maybe maybe about 100 miles with a fifth wheel and with the little guy right there, maybe about 100 miles. So not a lot of towing and really at low speeds too. Which is something else you have to consider if you do some heavy towing. I believe that actually affects these engines for oil consumption. I think they uh, listed a bulletin that maybe I'll show you guys at some point in the video too. So if you do own a gas engine, I do like that about diesels. Diesels have a bigger capacity for oil and you can't go longer on the oil changes. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull that dipstick and we'll see where it's at. All right, so you're kind of pointing up at my hood. So I'm gonna pull out the dipstick and show you guys where it's at. So there it is. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off and let's go ahead and see where it's at now. I love these blue paper towels, my favorite. All right, oil looks great by the way. Looks really good. So got it all cleaned off. Yeah, but look at the color of this oil. Like that is pretty dang good for, you know, 3,500 miles and obviously this is basically the break-in oil too. So, here it is. Let's go ahead and drop this in. See what we get. So 
So, there it is. That is pretty full. We're doing good. So, there is no consumption on this truck whatsoever. So, here's the service bulletin I was telling you guys about. And I will put this in a description for you guys too. So it says higher than expected oil consumption at 8,600 pound gross vehicle weight and above. I would probably venture to say gross combined vehicle weight as well. And pretty much down below just kind of shows you some things here. So towing seems to be the biggest factor. And I did wait a few hours before I actually checked the engine oil. I did drive it out earlier this morning, drop my kids off to school. When I got back, the oil level went back down, so we are good there. But here's something else you need to consider. You may or may not know this, but excessive engine oil consumption can affect a lot of different engines, and every engine does consume oil. Some have excessive, and some just have very minor, which you probably would never see between oil changes. But direct injection engines are pretty common to have this issue. Now, I did go on the forums uh, probably about a week ago now, and I saw that a lot of people were saying that the piston rings that GM uses could be a factor in why the L8T does burn oil. And I didn't know this, someone also mentioned the PCV valve it was another issue. But as I said earlier in this video, because these engines don't have a large oil um, capacity, I would venture to say 3,000 to 4,000 miles is a good place to probably think about changing your oil. If you go 5,000, I would say that's max, but I would not go nowhere near 7,500 miles, especially if you tow a lot, or if you are in an area like I am right now, where it's very dusty, because as you guys saw in the engine bay, that truck lives in the garage for every other week. So I don't drive that truck every week, so it's like driven once a week. Um, probably three days a week and then again it sits in the garage so for the engine bay to be that dusty is pretty surprising to me I've never even opened it up since uh, I've kind of stopped doing testing with it but yeah if you are concerned about the L8T's having oil consumption I wouldn't worry about it because I have a couple of my friends who have this engine and one of which Matthew Anderson he actually has not had this issue and he does his oil changes very, very soon. He does like at 3,000 miles. I think that's a little excessive, but he does tow a good bit too. So if you do a lot of towing, I would start really checking that oil around 3,000 miles for sure. And if you do a lot of city driving, that might be another factor. Idling, that would probably be another factor. I'm willing to bet you idling is probably a big issue with that engine too, but I don't know, I'm not a engineer. And yeah, I do like this truck. The L8T, for what I've been doing lately, is great. I don't tow a lot anymore. Like when we were in Maryland, I used to tow my black trailer back and forth when I had the Audi. I used to go to the drag strip sometimes. And it was pretty far because it was past Baltimore. But this truck does not see a lot of towing. And sadly, we haven't even gone camping this year yet, but this is the perfect season because September, October, November is chilly and campfires are the best. But I won't ramble anymore and I've answered this question for you guys before do I regret buying this gas engine as a diesel fanboy and the answer still is no I would probably buy this truck again under the right circumstances now I would like to see some upgrades maybe performance wise or maybe even bigger brakes or something like that but apart from that this engine has served me pretty well and I get about 13 mpg you know with mixed driving that's probably 50 50 highway city and at higher elevation I do run 91 because Costco doesn't have 88 here in Utah so I have to run 91 so I've been trying to tell people that because when I say I run premium they're like why because premium is the same price as 88 so there's no need for me to you know, run 88. Actually, I think premium at Costco is cheaper than 88, which is why I don't go to get even mid-grade. Because I'm not putting 85 in this truck. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. But again, I'm not going to ramble anymore. Hope you guys like the video. This engine is not burning oil. And who knows, maybe GM has done some upgrades for 2024. See you guys soon.